Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys have been here before, if you haven't, welcome. My name is Kate. And if you guys don't know me, I am probably what you would call the biggest organized mess you've ever met in your life. I do a lot of different things at once and I have a tendency to get very overwhelmed if my workspace isn't in a good fashion, if I don't feel good in my office. So this is my work office. I've been working here for almost a year now and I absolutely love it. I've been working for my company for almost two years now. And I'm just gonna show you guys some like really interesting productivity things that I do to stay organized, kind of give you an overview of my office and why I have the things that I have here. And then just give you guys like a little insight on how I stay organized with like a million things going on. I hope this helps. I think I have some really good tips that you haven't heard yet. So stay tuned and let's get into the video. So they already had this really nice desk for me when I moved in and also these little cubbies over here. And I do think that this is a little bit clustered, but I am working on it. I wanna make it beautiful. So over here when I come into work, hey, I have a salt rock lamp that I plug in every time and then also an oil diffuser and it is on a timer so it will turn off after like six hours ish and then down here i have all of my different oils and essential oils for it and then i have just some tissues so if someone wants to cry in my office which i hope no one ever does i'll have tissues and also for me so then over here i just got this little plant at home goods i want to say and then I have some graphics that I've made framed, some of the ones that I'm really proud of. So like this one, and I went over here. So I do frame that, and then I bought some frames from the dollar store that I use. So these are all from the dollar store. And then um, this little clipboard that I can change out the picture on. So I have it right there, just like my little Kate note. And then just a sign that I got from Hobby Lobby, just little knickknacks. This is from my boss for Christmas. And then this bulletin board is where I put any thank you card I get, any wedding invite that I get for weddings that I'm shooting, things like that. And then I have just this little candle from Target. This is from the Dollar Tree. And then I have my degree here. I've actually brought this in today so I could have it and you know be proud of it and see it because I worked really hard for that piece of paper. This wall hanging is from Mapiful and I just love it. They actually do prints of like the Gemini like I have in the horoscope or you can do like a place, a significant place in your life like, I don't know, place that you live, the place you got married, where you were born, places like that. But I really like this one. I just think it adds like a very minimal look to it and I also got the little wooden magnetic part along with it from Apple Fool, so definitely check them out. I've been following them for a very long time and I'm so excited to have them in my office now. Now we'll get more into the nitty gritty of the office. So, what do I do? How do I stay productive in this crazy world? So I am a handwritten note kind of person. I have to write everything by hand. So I have different ways to stay organized. What I do, my friend got me this notepad and I keep everything in checklists in here that I need to work on. And then I also write all of my meeting notes by hand in here. I also have like random stuff like my 23rd birthday checklist is in here, any of my call notes, things like that. So I just keep one notebook that I can jot everything down in. I got this in my Marshalls haul. And then this is what I really think you guys are gonna like. The way that we do things at work is we use nine grids and it really just helps you have your center thought in the middle and then all of your other external thoughts on the outside. If you're interested, look up Cunity. It is a program that my boss has paid for, but I use this for everything, like even personal. You can use your nine grid however you like, but I really, really like this. I use it a lot. I'm so glad that my job brought this into 
my everyday life. And then I do have random notes everywhere. If I forget my notebook of like checklists, like this is one day of checklists. I use highlighters and colors like crazy to stay organized. Another thing that I really utilize is an external hard drive. I have two of these, one especially for work and then the other one is for YouTube and personal stuff. I do not have enough space to be doing video content and all my work stuff, so this really helps just kind of keep everything organized. If I know it's not on my computer, I know it's gonna be on this. And I do have the USB-C drive, so I had to buy a USB-C to USB converter. This one was like a couple bucks on Amazon, maybe like six or seven. Another thing that really helps me are my AirPods. I know this is so basic. I don't even know where my other one is. Oh, there it is. But these really save my butt. I take so many calls and sometimes we have calls with other managers, but there are a bunch of other people that work in this office. So we don't all wanna like hear each other and hear the echoing. So I use this a lot to take calls and meetings, especially since so many stuff is on, so much stuff is on Zoom right now. And then we have my computer over here. Oh, and I forgot to show you that sign behind me. It's so cute. It says make today amazing. So I have that and then I have my phone over here because I get really bad service in here, but I use that a lot. I can breathe for two seconds and then we're gonna move on to the computer and how I stay productive and organized on my laptop. Okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit slower now so you guys can actually follow along. I know I zoomed through that first little bit, but I know that the decor isn't as important as the productivity, so let's get into two things that I use on my computer that help me with productivity. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is Basecamp, and no, this is not sponsored, but I do believe that you have to pay for Basecamp. I have my own little to-do list within Basecamp, and this is just shared with myself, but then I have different teams and you can invite different team members in it. So this really helps me like go through the checkoff list and really stay organized with what I need to get done, what needs to be printed, what needs to be distributed. I'm really, really liking this. You can message each other back and forth. So if you have like coworkers that are on here with you, it's just so helpful for me. I'm gonna show you guys this sheet. So I keep all my stuff organized in different tabs like this. So on here, I keep the date, the place, the price, if they've paid, everything like that. And this just keeps me organized for the upcoming shoots. Um, I really love using Google like calendars. I also use my Apple calendars, which help me a lot with staying organized. I color coordinate everything, so I have a shared one with my family, when I go to the gym, work is gonna be pink, birthdays that are coming up are gonna be yellow, and then green are photo sessions. So that has been really helpful for me and staying organized and everything like that. So I use this a lot, mostly for work and for photo stuff. So I know what exactly I have scheduled and what exactly I need to go to. Okay guys, so I know I really zoomed through everything. I talked really fast but I kind of need to know what you guys want me to elaborate on. If you want me to do a full tutorial on how I schedule things or how I stay more organized, I can make you know templates and do it that way. But this is kind of just like my overview on how I stay more organized with so many different things going on. You know, I write YouTube content ideas in my little peach notebook. If their ideas are on one page, if they are recorded and need to be published, it's on one page and then I put the date that they're gonna be going up. So now I've been posting every Monday and Thursday, so I make sure that I know exactly what is gonna be going up and if I need something filmed, I wait till later to put that in with a date so that I can make sure it's filmed before I give it a date and a deadline, if that makes sense. This is just what works for me, like I said. Let me know what works for you. Um, if you guys have any questions on the platforms that I use, let me know. I'd be happy to answer any questions. I use Planoly for scheduling social media for work. I use Basecamp for work and personal. I use Google Calendars, Google Sheets, everything. If you guys have any questions or you want me to elaborate, let me know. I'm sorry I zoomed through this and I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye.